Hi friends, it's Sarah from rufflesandrainboots.com and today we're making a no-sew mud flap gnome hat. If you'd like to make him, just boop and boop. <laughs> Stick around. As always, please give this video a like so I know you're here crafting with me. Now, you can sew this. You have to add a seam allowance because this is designed as a no-sew pattern, which you can get down below. I'm going to show you two styles here. One is his fancy hat and one is his hunting hat. All right, so we have a couple different ways to make this with a pattern alteration. I cut all the pattern pieces. Some of the trim is actually uh, Sherpa fleece and the other is this patterned fleece. Now the Sherpa fleece does shed, but it's so nice. It's so soft and it covers a lot of mistakes. So starting with the larger of the flaps and the center hat piece, we're gonna join these together on the curve. And I know that doesn't make sense, but when I show you, it will. So you're gonna match up the center hat portion, the side of that with the side of the brim round. So we're going to use a detail glue gun for this and it's going to mimic a sewn seam. I don't recommend using a full size glue gun unless you are very, very slow and can really control that output. So you can see here, we're just matching it up. Now on this curve, you see how I kind of pulled that? You see right there, I pulled it a little. That's why the stretch is important. And so what we're gonna do is just finish this little edge here and then line up the two edges right to the end and squish them flat. There will be no creasing, okay? Now, this is different if you use a non-stretchy fabric, but you can see how easily this came together, okay? I'm going to start the other side and then let it sit because fleece and Sherpa are both fabrics that if you do not let the glue set, they will actually move. We don't want that. We want this to be pretty exact. So I'm just going to start it the same way we did and it's a little easier because now you know what you're doing. You have a nice little curve already to work with. While that sits, I'm just going to talk about how we prep our pieces over here. You're going to put the fleece side down for Sherpa and the top of the fleece, so the, uh, the right side of the fabric facing up so that wrong sides are together when we get to this, okay? So I just wanted to detail that while our glue was setting over here. And now we're just going to finish gluing this all the way around. Again, you're going to only tug right on this part at the top when you're coming up to that center top. Now I've made a lot of these and I've had my pattern testers make a lot of them. So if you don't line them up exactly at the bottom, uh, my pattern tester said it best and just hack that bit off. Okay, because it is stretch fleece, you won't have a big uh, problem there. All right, we're gonna set that aside and let it cure. Now we're going to line up the fabric of the Sherpa with the edge of our fleece uh, in the pattern and we're just going to fold over the edge of the Sherpa right onto the top of that fleece. Now here's the cool part. The fabric edge of our Sherpa will be covered by all of this gorgeous floof. See how stretchy it is? If you didn't get it perfectly in the center, don't worry. Sherpa fleece is stretchy. And then as you can imagine what's next, friends, you're just gonna glue that all the way around. You do not have to cut it. I recommend you don't cut it. It will crease, but you know what? You won't be able to see it. Why? Because it's Sherpa fleece. Hey, do you think I'm a fan of Sherpa fleece? I mean, if you just had to guess, do you think I like this stuff? I do like this stuff. It makes us all look good. <laughs> all right, so we're just going, look, I just like pulling it anyway. Uh, you can put these on a couple different ways. Ultimately, it doesn't matter what you glue down first, as long as you get the edges of that covered and that top edge secured down. All right. Just gonna finish that up. Try not to burn yourself. Sitting right next to me are my finger guards, but uh, yeah, I didn't use them because I'm tough and I have no more fingerprints. All right. So now those two are done. You can see we are ready for our assembly. Yes, you're already to assembly four minutes into this video. <laughs> 
So you are going to flip the center hat portion right sides out. You can roll the seams between your fingers. You're gonna pull and tug just like we do with every hot glue creation we make, just to make sure that those seams don't have any holes, that they're tight, that no polyfill will just start poking through one day. So I'm just rubbing those seams in between my fingers. Now I'm gonna zoom in a little bit so you can see here. I had a pattern tester put this the wrong way, so I'm going to slow down and say, you gotta put the fleece against the fleece. So the right side of the fabric against the right side of the fabric so that when you flop it down, bam, it looks like that. And to do that, we're just going to match up the two edges of the fleece, of this patterned fleece. Do not match up the edge of the Sherpa. It won't create a very good seal. And as you can imagine, we're just gonna hold that in place so that it doesn't shift while we hot glue the rest of this on. I have had a lot of questions about where to get Sherpa fleece. Look at Joann's uh, in your area, especially this time of year. Just you can see here, I'm showing you that um, we matched up just those fabric edges. I'm gonna clip that before moving on so I don't have to wait and so it doesn't shift. So back to where you get the Sherpa fleece. Joann's has it in a, a lot of colors. Fabric.com will have it. Um, Amazon sometimes have it. has it. You should search uh, Sherpa fleece by the yard, okay? So I'm almost done here. We're just gonna line up again the top edges of the fleece with a nice thin bead of hot glue. You do not need a lot of glue, but you need a nice thick bead so that when it squishes down, it stays in place, just like this. Looks like a seam that somebody sewed. Look at that. All right, so now I'm impatient, so I'm just gonna take these clips off and hope for the best. All right, so you you have a couple options. I'm gonna show you two of them that I did for this. So the pattern piece calls out two of these thin, uh, edges so you can start them in the front like I'm doing or you can start them on the side it doesn't matter Sherpa fleece will cover the seams now you can also however make the fancy <laughs> hat by just doing the front and the back and leaving the sides open that's his fancy hat <laughs> that's his go out to dinner hat okay so again I am just going to add a little hot glue here onto the fleece and I am going to line up the bottom edge of the Sherpa fabric backing with the bottom edge of my fleece. And then I'm just gonna pin that or uh, clip that in place to make sure it doesn't move around. And I'm just gonna glue it all the way around. That's it. I sped this part up because I know that y'all are, it's hard to please everybody, but please let me know down in the comment section if you like this, you know, some fast, some slow, just to make sure. Uh, I'm doing what you all want. All right, so I do recommend going through and just pulling on the uh, Sherpa to make sure the top and the bottom are both down. And there you go. He's all ready. He's all ready. His little no mirrors are gonna be super warm and fuzzy. Okay, so let's say you don't have a stretch fabric or you really like something that has no stretch like this fabulous Buffalo check flannel. Uh, zero stretch. <laughs> all right, so what do you do? Cut all of the pattern pieces except the center hat piece, you're going to add on one half inch. So the reason we're adding on one half inch is because over that curve, you cannot tug the fabric, right? You cannot make it so it sits nice and flat without any creasing. So what we wanna do is start it the exact same way we did before. And then we're gonna match up all of the side the same exact way we did before. But then when we get to this curve at the top, you're just going to match it up exactly, right? You're not gonna have any tugging. You're not gonna gently pull. You're just gonna match it up and then watch. I apparently wanted to make that dramatic because that was the slowest addition of hot glue ever. All right, and so you can see it matches up perfectly. So again, you would want that to set. So I'm gonna go over here and do my little edges on my flaps the same exact way. Coming back to this after it has set, and just again, repeating this on the entire curved edge before I add on my flaps. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. I think I say that in every video. 
Do I? Let me know in the comments. All right, so instead of all the way around, I'm just going to add the fleece right here to the front. Now you can cut it a little thinner if you wanna do this. Mine's a little bigger uh, than it needs to be, but again, just matching up the fabric of the fleece with the fabric of the Sherpa and everything will be fine. Right, those two edges right there. Just don't try and glue that Sherpa, like the fuzzy bit, like those, nay nay. And then I just did the back the exact same way and I cut off the excess and then these cuties are ready. I'm gonna put one on a pool noodle now. So many people have asked me to do pool noodle bodies, so I'm gonna do them for you. Let me know down in the comments below if you remember who this gnome belongs to. So you can see here, here's his fancy hat. <laughs> what do you think of this quick, quick craft? And here's his <laughs> hunting hat. <laughs> You can get the pattern for this down below in the description box. As always, thank you so much for being here. Please like and subscribe for more crafty fun.